what I was saying before about that cutscene, it has the potential to be the best cutscene in the series until Jude decided to keep the goggles on. That's what I meant. It was going great until he decided he wasn't going to go pure eyes for the rest of the Inazuma 11 series. No, he even wears goggles as an adult and it looks stupid. Hi everyone, how's it going? Well done to get into the knockout stages. I knew you could do it. Since I got back to Japan, I've been training hard with everyone in the football club at school. We've had loads of people signing up to join. Watching you on TV has really inspired them. I know you can go all the way. I can't wait to watch you lift the cup, Mark. I'm going to keep training and get back on the team. You see if I don't. Todd Arnside. Good old Todd. It sounds like Todd's doing really well, and there's loads of new members in the football club. That's great news. Yeah, we have to win this for everyone back home. Mark, we've got a visitor. Hey, what's up? Congratulations on making it out of the group stage. That's awesome. Bobby! I was really sorry to see the USA go out. Who knows, if you'd still had Eric on the team, you might have won the other day. Ah, you could be right. It could have been us in the knockout stages instead of you. Bobby! I'm just kidding around. Look, you guys in Italy got through, and that's just the way it is. Eric's surgery went real well. So we're just going to have to get training for the next FFR. Right. Say, you guys look like you're heading out. Yeah, Mr. Veteran just got back from Japan with Grandad's notebook. We're going to go to the airport and meet him. Well, I don't want to hold you up. Say, what if I come along for the ride? Let's head to the airport. Uh, sure, you can come if you want. I'm, I'm not opposed. Let's go to the airport then. There, how, how's about that for skip travel, Bobby? It almost went in the blink of an eye. Right then, so where's Mr. Veteran at? And why is it Bobby's business is the, is the other question. But fair enough, it's probably to do with this large gathering of players over here. Torres, Aspetta, do not go. You should stay here on Leocat until the tournament ends. Che, we lost already, didn't we? I don't want to hang around here. We should go home and train. Honestly, so hot-headed. Can't you just calm down for a moment so we can have a rational discussion? Gee, Edgar, I guess we can't all be perfect gentlemen like you. Taras, listen, your work here isn't over. We have to stay and we have to fight. There's something bad happening here. Something bad? You talking about Sulem Rice? Mark, Jude, Kosa, what are you doing here? You're all looking very serious. Is something the matter? Ah, uh, I guess you didn't hear the news yet. News? What news? Dylan, why do you always have to go and shoot your mouth off? Tranquilo, they will have to find out sometime. I will tell you, but please settle down. We just got news from Italy. There's been a traffic accident. The car was badly damaged, but they confirmed that the number plate from Signor D was in it. Wh what? No one knows what caused the accident. I am sorry to have to tell you this, but... Signor D is dead. D dead? Radark! Commander! You're not telling me this was Zulin Rice's work, are you? No, there was nothing suspicious about the accident, but no one knows the truth. Che, Signor D, he did many bad things. Perhaps this was his just desserts. Torres, this is not the time! Che, why can't I say what I want? I'm just telling the truth. J 
Jude. Commander, why? No! Hello, children. Have you come to meet me? Eh? What's with the faces? There's something the matter. Uh, we'll tell you about it later. Have you got the notebook? Yes, fear not. I brought it with me, safe and sound. But you'll have to wait till we get back to the dormitory. There's someone waiting there who wants to see the notebook too. Okay, sure, I guess. So that we all came down to the airport to meet you and all. It's fine, Bobby. I think it's best if we head back with Jude so he can get some rest. Say, wait. I just heard all about Zula Rice. Hey, imbecile. To think a man like that is the chairman of the FFI board. We cannot let him spoil the magic of the football. My team and I will stay right here on Leocot. My empire are ready to fight for football. And you shall not fight alone. The football pitch is a sacred battlefield, and we shall suffer none to sully this noble sport. Orpheus will be right there with you. We will save the sport Signor D loved so much. Yeehaw! That's the kind of fine talk I like! We got your backs, guys! And besides, we gotta keep soccer safe for Eric while he's out of action. Th thank you. Thank you all. We'll make sure football's future is safe. Together. Che, so you are going to be our leader? Well, as long as you remember that we beat Inazuma National, dear Kettle. <laughs> Goodness me, you really are the limit, Torres. Bueno, listen. You were the ones that made it to the final stages. You were a fine team. Thanks, Torres. I'm so glad we got to take on the world. We got to make great friends like you. Haragone, Mark, you are right. And so we'll head back to the dorm and look at the notebook then. So that letter we got from Todd, I don't know if that's the signal or not to say that you can re-recruit him. I know that you definitely can re-recruit Todd before the story ends, but whether that was the signal or not, I'm not too sure. But for now, let's just get to the notebook because that is a more pressing matter. Ciao, Paolo, welcome back. Gotta, look what I got. It's a book about football. A book about football? Can you even read if you were blind your whole life? See, I want to learn more about football. It will be hard. I have so much to learn, but I want to try. I miss Signor D, but I know he has work to do. When he will return, I wonder. Lucia, when Signor D has done what he has to do, he will come back. I know it. See, I will study hard, so I will have lots and lots to talk about with Signor D. Paolo, just see that? What's the matter? You are hurting me. Lucia, let's learn about football together. I want you to love football. Just like Senior D loves it. Well, when will she learn the truth? I don't know, but it was a nice scene nonetheless. Speak to the old man, he might mention Todd. No, he's just talking about Jordan and Dave. I swear I couldn't even have Dave because my team level was too low. So you made it, and about time too. Nelly, it's you. You're back. Yes, I am. Now, let's get down to business. Where is Dave Evans's notebook? Here you are. Crikey, not in the best state, is it? 
Blibbing Plin! So this is your granddad's final notebook, is it? I wonder what kind of amazing moves it's got in it. Let's have a look. All special moves come from the same place, the heart. To learn a new move, you must work on changing who you are. I hope these rules will guide you on your way. Rule 1. Indomitable spirit. Never, ever, ever give up. Ever. Rule 2. Unyielding courage. You can stand up to anyone. Rule 3. Fathomless heart. Protect what is most dear to you. Rule 4. Unwavering faith. Your teammates have got your back. Rule 5. Ice cold composure. Let nothing sway you from your goals. Rule 6. Unblinking vision. Seek the truth that is hidden from view. Rule 7. Magnanimous soul. Be generous and forgive others' mistakes. Rule 8. Steadfast loyalty. A team shares both their sadness and joy. Rule 9. Boundless ambition. Aim for the stars and hold your head high. Rule 10. Inner belief. Have unwavering faith in your judgment. Rule 11. Warrior's pride. Stay strong no matter how tough it gets. Wow, good old Grandad. He's amazing. Now I come to think of it, my father did say something else about the final notebook. He said that if you found a volume of the notebook, you could use it. Yeah, so each chapter of the notebook is actually a usable item, and they give you a stat boost if you find them. So, you don't get any moves out of it, like you do with the past notebooks, but instead it's a collectible item which raises your stats, so I like that a little more. Yes, Mark, I think it's more than likely there are another ten volumes out there. I heard that Dave managed to smuggle them out of the country with him, and that they ended up scattered around the world. Well, let's see if we can find them. Oh, what? The rest of the pages are blank. I was hoping there'd be some cool moves. Ah, oh, well. Mark, I didn't come all this way just to see that notebook. I've got something to tell you. There is a strong possibility that the coach of one of the teams in this tournament is your grandfather. What? Are you serious? Which team? The team from Coach Victoire, Little Gigantis. The coach name on the official tournament registration document is Dave Arrows. Dave! The same as Grandad! And the captain of Epsilon! It's actually not really that big of a coincidence. Could it really be a different person? Or maybe he had a reason to lie to you? You did really well to find out all these things, Nelly. I hope you'll be staying with us. Ah, I'm afraid I can't. The thing is, I'm helping to manage the Code Victoire team. What? Now, I need to get going. I'll see you in the final.